when we were when we were advertising your spot, uh, Gene, uh, we, we put out a, a little little video. It ended ended up being a bit of a mini podcast. <laughs> but oh, one yeah. of the, one of the things we talked about was uh, you know go, being able to go back in time uh, and see how things develop. Uh, like one of the uh, one of the things I would like to go back to is ninety three ninety four. Uh, Mike Harcourt, because I don't know if you remember, Gene, uh, but in 93, 94, uh, it was during the news hour where Mike Harcourt stood up in front of a whole bunch of cameras during, during the news hour. And he said, um, everybody on welfare is cheats, varmints and deadbeats. Do you remember that? Do you remember that he had that news conference and he, he stood up in front of the cameras and he said that? Everybody in, on welfare is cheats, varmints, and deadbeats. Yeah, and yeah, and I, I just wanted to get your uh, get your reflection on that because I don't know if you if you know my situation, Gene, but um, it kind of stems from from that because it was uh, very soon after he met, he made those remarks where they started to claw back pensions and things yeah. like that, where they they uh, they termed that pensions were uh, were unearned income so right now like um for the last 10 years my first wife passed away and for the last 10 years the provincial government has been clawing back my survivor's pension as as unearned income and that stems all the way back that stems all the way back to to mike harcourt so i just wanted to get your your reflections on that time and and what what your opinions about that uh, what what he said and and just everything kind of going forward from that. What what are what are your reflections on that? I was, work I was working at end legislated poverty then. Okay, we were a provincial coalition trying to end legislated poverty, and I did. We did notice that, and we demanded a meeting with him to get him to tell him that he shouldn't say that, and he was mm -hmm. being a jerk. And we got the meeting, and he was, anyway, he didn't really, he wasn't really contrite, to say the least. Mm -hmm. And um, I subsequently wrote a book called uh, Poor Bashing, the Politics of Exclusion. Right. And right. I yeah. talk a lot in that book about how the poor bashing that started around 1990 mm -hmm. was a precursor to a lot of the things that government policies that happened, like in the province, cutting back welfare, cutting out rights for people on welfare, uh, getting cutting back on unemployment insurance, changing the name to employment insurance, um, cutting back on taxes for the rich. Um, it was a whole, uh, and free trade. Free trade was part of that because if we, it, free trade isn't really a great name for, I think of it more as a corporate rights deal because it gives corporations the right to go to countries where they have low taxes, low environmental regulations and low wages. And if corporations can go to where there's low wages then people and, and where there's very few social programs. Mm. So if you have a good social programs, then wages have to be higher to compete with them, right? So free trade kind of undermined all of that. And I, I go into it in quite a bit of detail in the, in the book. But yeah, yeah. it was and that, that time of around the early 90s, there was a whole bunch of poor bashing happening. I remember there was an article in the Sun about uh, Somali immigrants ripping off the welfare system mm -hmm. and when you read the article there actually was no evidence that it happened right. so it's not only poor bashing it was racism yeah. and there was an article there was an article articles in the province about uh, there was a welfare cheat line mm -hmm. and uh, they were encouraging people to call in on welfare cheats and the whole thing was really hard on low income yeah. people yeah yeah it, there was a uh, there was a site that was uh, up there for years. Uh, Gene, you might have um, never seen it. Where it would actually give you every single province, and it was basically it was basically back back in the nineties, 
and it was every single province that actually give you their what their mandate was of reducing down their caseloads of trying to uh, and some of the words was exactly the same thing. They said welfare, welfare cheats. Of uh, we need to find ways of modernizing it so we can recoup that money because they felt that people were uh, were not legitimately eligible for welfare at the time, um, and they were milking the system. In other words, right? Um, and uh, it was up there for years, and all of a sudden, I I was looking at it till some years ago now, and. <laughs> And I couldn't find it. It said uh, the site was not no longer available. I thought there was an actual study that was done in that period. I think yeah. the province commissioned it, and it said um, basically it said if you make it really hard for people to get welfare, like have a whole bunch of ridiculous rules and regulations, mm -hmm. then fewer people will be on welfare. Voila, mm -hmm. we cut yeah. down our expenses, yeah. right? But job, then job done. Like, Everyone's homeless, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. it's it, it's it's interesting, you know, that that you say that you were heavily involved in uh, anti-poverty activism way back in the '90s. So it goes to show that I mean, this has gone on for three decades, and it's only gotten progressively worse, as you said, as you alluded to. And it, it's it's scary to me that we've had three decades. Think of all the governments, three decades worth of governments, and they have yet to figure it out. I mean, I, if, I if, if, if that's if that's not the, the definition of well, futility, futility, I don't know what it, I don't know what it is. I think you know? they have figured it out. They have figured out whose side they're on, and yeah, it's on well, our true. side. That's true. And indeed. so they're working for the side that they're on. Mm -hmm. And what we have to do is build a huge alliance of people that are on our side, which mm -hmm. includes, you know, people with disabilities, people on welfare, low income mm -hmm. people, working people. And mm -hmm. we have to try and get past their propaganda and get the things that we need, like better social programs, more nonprofit housing, higher mm -hmm. wages, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm.